does a wife and mother of four kids cope? How does she go on without her husband, best friend, and high school sweetheart? Amy O'Rourke tells Action News so we can share her message with you. And Carolyn Clifford is here now. Hard to believe that she can even speak so soon, but she did today, Carolyn. She did. She did with courage, yes. too. Now, if you've ever suffered a loss in your own family and had to look at the face of a small child who can't understand why daddy is not there, you might have a glimpse into what Amy O'Rourke is going through right now. Today, she had the courage to speak to us from the heart and through her incredible pain. I don't know that it was all hitting me just then, but I, uh, I had a sense of peace um, when I was sitting with him, you know, like we'd be okay, and that he's okay. She calls him Patty, her best friend, her life partner, and even though his life is now over, she believes he's still with her. I'm gonna be okay, because he's still with me. I just miss his arms and his thumbs and his face. I miss his face and his voice, but we, we have a video and you know, <laughs> I got video where he's talking to Steven. Steven is their eight month old son. The son Patty always wanted, but barely knew. He's the youngest of the four kids. Andrea is four, Mary is eight, and Eileen is 10. Kids old enough to think about how their daddy is now gone. You know, Eileen said, Daddy's not gonna let me down the aisle, Mom. And Mary's concerned, you know, that I'm, what if I, something happens to me now? Their lives were based on faith, family, and another simple core value we may take for granted, friendship. I used to tell him all the time, I wish every girl out there had a patty because, you know, when friends are, you know, people are complaining about their husbands or, you know, they don't do this or they don't do that. <laughs> I never had that. I never felt that. And this is where Amy is reaching out to all of us. Anyone who may come in contact with her and her young children in the next few days, and especially in the weeks, months, and years to come. If I could ask anybody anything, it's just to help me to tell the kids about Pat, you know, so we don't... So they'll know him. I'm just sad about that. Sad about a lot of things, but. Boy, and we're sad for you. Just brings you to tears, really, listening to her. You know, I had a brother killed in Detroit, and he left behind four small children, including a baby. And it really takes an entire family wrapping their arms around you to pull you through. And you know, we can tell that Amy has that support she and she's going to need it and every just, single day. God bless you, Carolyn. Yeah. And just listening to her, yeah. I, I can really see why they were sweethearts. She is as strong and as brave as he was. Yeah. It's like a match made in heaven. Yeah. And uh, thank you for bringing us that. And, 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 and you know, she, she wants everyone to I watch her video she so she can talk with courage and she wants people to remember her husband and, and bring her strength and bring her young children's strength and as well. And bring her faith Be to light too Absolutely. because she talks in that video that you'll see about her incredible faith and how it will help her through and this. And she so, will need it. And she will. Yes, she will. Thank you. Thank Carolyn, you, Carolyn. Very much.